Once your hood is open, Jim, simply open up your little clip like you always did. Slide it back. Make sure the front is, is disconnected. Then you simply reach inside, give it a little tug, and you'll be able to slide it right out like you always did. Just like so. Now you're able to maintain your engine if you ever had to do a maintenance, whatever it would take. And uh, it's just like it was before. While we got the hood open, Jim, I'm gonna show you where your heater is connected. These, this line right here, and there's another line on the other side, that that's what's running your heater right now. It's all plumbed into your system. And uh, it's something you'll never have an issue with. Basically straightforward. And you got good heat in this tractor. Everything is topped up, your coolant, everything's perfect. Put your panel back in. Just reverse how you took it out. Get it in there, get it started. Reach inside. Make sure your front is all in, clipped in. Push it ahead. No problems at all. The other side operates the same way, same deal, and it's easily done. But that's the only way you can get around these tractor models with this big gap here, because you need that gap in order to open your hood. These are two little protectors here so that your hood, so it doesn't touch your hood, doesn't mark your hood. It's just a little precaution that I like to do. Now you can put your panel back on. Put your wing nuts back on in here. And just so you know, I all, I put you a few extra wing nuts in your little cup holder right here. Because it's probably something you're gonna lose in the future. While we're in here, Jim, this is your, your fuse panel, your dome light, front lights, back lights, front wiper, back wiper, and this is your heater button. Your switch for your dome light is on the dome light, and the switch for your fan is on the fan. You got two speeds, high and low. And you can put that wherever you want. I like it about right there. While we're in here, this is a removable panel. Now, when you want to service your hydraulics, the fill location is right where my finger is here. And instead of cutting a big hole in this, it's much easier to simply remove these three bolts, 7 16th wrench or socket, and that's going to come out very, very easily. And you can access all your uh, fill locations. Your fuel tanks in here also. At one time, I used to make the window smaller and put a door, but I found out that it wasn't working the best because the guy's outside with his can and it, it, it really uh, didn't work well. Much easier to simply open your door, either get a large funnel or one of those simple pump and flow setups from Canadian Tire with a little nozzle and you can fill it with your gas can outside. It's up to you, but it's not a big deal. There used to be your little storage compartment back here. With the cab, it didn't, there, it was no room for it, so I removed it and I'll be putting it in the box for Ken to give to you. But uh, you had nothing in it and uh, it, it, you didn't need it anyway, so now it's, it's much better and you got adequate room. Your back window, it's open right now, but it's on shocks. I'll get inside. You got a little lock right here. There is locked. You want to open it, you simply open it. Whenever you want to close it, you got a handle here. You lift up the lock and you're good to go. 
Other than that, there's removable pieces on this side. If you ever wanted to remove your cab, you would have to remove those removable pieces. They're all bolted in. And that'll allow you clearance to simply take lift this cab straight up. Same thing on the other side. I had to create these footwells because the way the pedals are designed, you needed that extra foot room. It's a John Deere thing, I guess, because every one is the same thing. Your tractor cab is mounted with your original bolts right here. You got two here. You got two on the other side. And other than that, the main bolting point is in the back. Back here where your roll bar used to be. Now that's your main bolting point for your new cab. Simply take out these two big bolts, those two bolts on the floor on each side, and that cab's gonna lift straight up. But it is solid, more solid than any cab you'll ever see out there. Your lights that used to be on your roll bar, now they're here, everything functions the same as it always did. You still have room to put your reflective sign if you, if you want to, but, and now you got two nice work lights very nice you're going to see at night time your doors in the summertime <coughs> in the summertime if you want to remove your doors simply remove your shock little flat screwdriver that'll pop right off unhook your safety chain and that and then that door will will lift right off the hinges Simply put it away in your garage for the summer, your tractor is wide open, and you still have your roof over your head and your accessories are all at your fingertips. When you open and close these doors, it's like the decal says, you put it out open and you close it. It's designed to, to suck that door in, very solid, no rattles. When you open it, very simple. Always make sure your doors are closed all the way, especially during transport. Your step, your step was, was short after I put the cab on. So I made a nice extension for it and it, it still functions like it always did. And you got lots of room when you're getting out and in your cab. I never came past you with your tires. So you it's not gonna restrict your entry into any narrow space. And other than that, that's pretty much it. You got a cab that's gonna last you the lifetime of your tractor and I hope you're happy with it. And I thank you for your business.